Hello, my name is Lady Kimono and welcome to my channel. Today we are watching me draw myself. I am drawing picture over a uh, over a photograph I took of myself wearing type a special type of Japanese kimono known as a hikisuri. It's a, a kimono with a train, basically. Uh, this one is used for I was told by the vendor at least it was used for um, theater. Not sure what which type of theater. I am of course hoping kabuki, but I have actually no idea. But I really I was really pleased with the composition of the photograph, so I decided to use it to create another piece of art, as you can see here in this time lapse, not actually a recording of my process. This is a time lapse and you can do that in Clip Studio Pro and I absolutely adore that function. You just have to remember to turn it on under file and then you just go down to time lapse and make sure there is a V on the record time lapse. And after you can export the time lapse and you can choose how long it is. This is all of it. So this was a fairly long process because the time lapse is 10 minutes. Um, lately, I've made a lot of kind of mandala designs um, because they're very soothing and fun to do. But they are like, if I export the full time lapse of that mandala, it will be like 15 seconds long. So it was a lot of work in this piece. Um, the mandala designs, if you are interested in looking at them, I will recommend you swing by my Red Bubble store. Uh, because that is where I upload most of them because I'm they are fairly easy to make. I might actually just make a tutorial tutorial tu tutorial. I do apologize. I am to Norwegian to English on how to make those mandala because it is very much fun to do. It's very soothing. You don't actually need to know a lot about art or software or anything to do it. Um, so I hi highly recommend it just for a sort of de-stressing exercise or just a warm-up exercise if you are gonna draw something more elaborate. But yeah, I, that was the piece that I'm working on. I want to give you a, a small update of how I'm doing and the reason why it has been such a big gap between my last upload and this one. And it's basically because I've been freaking depressed, like really depressed like so depressed I actually went to see my uh, my family doctor or general practitioner whatever you want to call them um, to get a referral to a psychologist not a psychiatrist but a psychologist uh, because I am I am clinically depressed uh, so I want something in I want an I want tools to deal with a depression that is always has always been there and will always be there. I don't want to take medicine for it. I do. I am on medication for my ADHD and that is fine. I just don't want to take anything more than that because I'm kind of scared if I take start on an antidepressants, for instance, that will do something with the chemistry so that my ADHD medication don't work or the ADHD medication makes my antidepressants don't work rep uh, properly and I have to go through a whole process of testing like a gazillion different drugs and finding that magic combination that don't screw me up but actually give me a helping hand. So I wanted to see a psychologist so um, I could get some help like get tools that I can use to deal with my depression because I've had uh, coping mechanisms for many 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 years it's just that they kind of stopped working uh, because 2020 was not good like I feel things on like all of my feelings is always turned up to the max. I don't get a bit sad, I get super sad. I don't get a bit excited, I get super excited. And so to kind of balance that out, I need to have, like everyone really, um, I need to have a good amount of good things happen and before, and so that I have like a backlog of good stuff when the bad stuff happens. The problem with 2020 was that 
there was so much bad stuff and all of the good stuff that was supposed to happen like my travels and my career and everything like that they didn't happen so I didn't get that backlog of good and the cherry on top of the cake was my cat dying which absolutely sucked so last week I went and got a new kitten like not a spur of the moment thing my family had actually we had agreed to it my husband and daughter and i and we had looked at some ads we found an ad for a local shelter uh, we my daughter and i had a very long drive on a monday evening through snow and rain to get to where the kitten was living because it was in a foster home and we really liked the kitten and on wednesday after she had had her first round of vaccines we got to bring her home so i have a perfectly white not perfectly white she is white with a bit of gray on her hair and black on her snout but she is perfect to me she is so so sweet and cuddly and playful and i i just adore her to bits um if you want to see pictures of her i i recommend you hit my not hit. I recommend you go to my Instagram because on my Instagram you will find pictures of her. She is the cutest thing to ever wear fur basically or to have fur as her skin. She doesn't wear fur. It's it's on her skin basically. But yeah, I got to bring her home and even on the first evening, like the day I picked her up, it was a big day for her. She had gotten her vaccines and she was separated from her mom and her four siblings and she got her, uh, her new home. So it was a lot of big changes for her that day and I thought that when I opened the door to the cage when we got home that we, she basically would have um, escaped the cage and then found like somewhere in my office to kind of hide at for a few hours until she kind of would venture out. That was my expectation. But no, she started exploring the, in the, my office uh, immediately. She greeted my husband and my daughter. She did a bit of exploring on the second floor. We didn't want her to explore the first floor. We just thought that that would have been a bit too overwhelming. But yeah, she was exploring the first floor, no, the second floor. And she spent the rest of the evening in my lap, purring. Oh, it was so nice to hear purring and to have a cat in my lap. It was just amazing. And it kind of, it lifted my depression somewhat, I have to admit. Ha having her and because she just puts a big old smile on my face when she plays. One evening she was, um, I read a book to my daughter every night before bedtime and or when in bed, basically. And one of the evenings, the kitten, she actually joined us. She was laying between us in bed as I was reading and she was so content and my daughter was so happy. So, so happy. It was such a pleasure to, to watch. But yeah, as you can see, this piece is now nearing completion. I just need to finish some hair details and background so actually a whole lot but on this time lapse at least we are nearing the end if you like this piece uh, you can actually purchase prints of them on my etsy i will drop the link down below as for my youtube channel hopefully i will have i will try and have a new video out every week but i can't guarantee anything but thank you so much for watching i do hope you have a wonderful day and see you guys in the next one. Ooh, and if you have any feedback to give me, please, please leave me, leave me feedback. And I have a red bubble now. Check out my red bubble, please. Okay, bye.